today we're going to look at finding a rule for a linear graph. Now learning goals for today's lesson are that we're going to be able to determine the equation of a line using any two given points on the Cartesian plane. So we can determine the equation for any line using only two points from the, from the Cartesian plane. But we need to remember a couple of things first. If I've got a horizontal line, they have the equation y equals c. So y will be constant. Horizontal line means y is staying the same the whole way along. So that means that we have it as a constant value that is unchanging. It is not dependent on x. So c is going to be the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. If I've got a vertical line, the x-intercept is going to be whatever it is when it crosses the um, x-axis and it will be unchanging. So the y value, the y value is going to be is going to be changing, but the x value will stay the same the whole way through. So we're given the equation x equals k, where k is the x-intercept. But for any other linear graph, it's of the form y equals mx plus c. Y equals mx plus c. M is the gradient, so how steep the line is. If it's positive, then it's increasing with um, increasing values of x. Y will increase with increasing values of x. If it's negative, as x values increase, the y values decrease, so it slopes downwards. C um, is our y-intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis. So here, our gradient m, y-intercept c, and that will give us the general form of the equation of the line. So if we're given any two points, x1, y1, and x2, y2, so these are our Cartesian coordinates, two points, point one, point one here, point two here. They've got different x and y coordinates for each of those points. To find the gradient, it's rise over run. So it's how much the um, y values change divided by how much the x values change. So we can take the value from x2 and plug it in here, subtract from x1, and that will give us the run, so how far it's moved across. The um, change in y values can be the y2 value here minus the y1, and that'll tell us whether it's gone down or whether it's gone up. Okay, we need to remember that the order is very important. It's always 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 on top. It's got to be consistent. That's the real key thing. Once we've found the gradient, we can then substitute one point, so either point 0.1 or point 0.2, into y equals mx plus c, because then we know the gradient, we know the y, we know the x, and solve for c to determine the value of c. There's a second way to do it. This equation here works at doing exactly the same thing, but in an algebraic procedural way. So you can substitute, just substitute into this equation if you want to remember it, if you want to memorize it, you can do that but I think it's easier to memorize the process because then you kind of understand all of the things that you're doing to then arrive at your answer and that this part here is the gradient and this part here is the y-intercept. But I'll show you how to do both answers in this example. So the, uh, what we're looking at here is we're trying to find the equation of this straight line. So we've got our uh, straight line here, we've got our two points. Now two points, so we're going to have point one, point one, which is going to be 3, 11. That means uh, x1 is equal to 3, y1 is equal to 11. Point two, we've got here 6, 7. So that means x2 is equal to 6, y2 is equal to 7. So we can find the gradient. The gradient is rise over run. Rise over run. So the rise, we've gone down. This is our rise. We've gone down by four from 11 to seven. This is going to be down by four. And the run, how far we've gone across is going to be six minus three, which is three. So our gradient is negative 4 over 3. We can't simplify that. You could put it as a decimal if you wanted to. Negative, um, well, it probably wouldn't work very well as a decimal because it wouldn't be as accurate because it's going to be in thirds. 
so probably keep it as a, as a fraction. So negative 4 over 3. I can do that, um, I can substitute in values if I want and say, well, I'm going to do y2 minus y1, 7 minus 11, over x2 minus x1, which is 6 minus 3, and I'll get the same answer. So 7 minus 11 is negative 4, and 6 minus 3 is 3. It's the same answer that I get there. Now I know my gradient, I can substitute that into y equals mx plus c, as well as one of the points. So I'm going to choose just point 0.1 here. Uh, so the y value for point 0.1 is 11. The gradient I know is negative 4 thirds. The x value is 3, and we're trying to find c. So this is going to be 11 is equal to negative 4 plus c. So therefore c is going to be equal to 15 if I add 4 to both sides. So therefore the equation of the line is y is equal to negative 4 over 3x plus 15. Now I'll show you how to work it out as well using the formula that was given. So the given formula is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, x minus x1. Substitute in the known values. Oh, y minus y1 is 11. Now y2 minus y1 is 7 minus 11 over 6 minus 3 x minus x1 which is 3. So then we simplify to negative 4 over 3 x minus 3. Expand those brackets out. Negative 4 over 3 x plus 4. And then simplify by adding 11 to both sides. And I get negative 4 over 3 x plus 15. I get the same answer for both of those. So that's our um, answer.